Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. I am back with my next craft fair idea. I am going to utilize all the packs of Kleenex that I have and make them into little gift boxes. These turn out so, so cute. And yes, I'm using Christmas paper. I pulled out my doodle bug, let it snow that I had from last year. And I decided, you know what? I'm going to be making these for my craft fair. It's around Christmas time. So I'm going with Christmas paper and I absolutely love it. Now I didn't put an embellishment on this one, um, but you can kind of see what I did on this one. You can do whatever you want on here. I think just a little cute little saying on here is good. Um, but yeah, let me show you how I made these. So, so cute and easy. Okay, so here's kind of like my template here. And... Let me just make sure I got my light over here correctly. So I've already cut my paper and we're going to do some scoring together. I'm going to move those over. And you need a piece of paper that's six and a half wide by eight inches in length. Okay. On the eight inch side, you're going to score at two and a quarter inch three and a quarter so as you need that one inch like there that gusset right there and then you're going to skip on over and you're going to score at five and a half and then you're going to score at six and a half so easy right simple little things now flip it around got something on my paper here i think it's glue um flip it around and you're going to score at one and you're going to score at five and a half so that gives us four and a half inches which is about how long our Kleenex is, okay? So that is all that you need for your scoreboard. And you can see the glue I got right there, it's all good. Okay, so what you're gonna do first is you're going to do some cutting, okay? So the shorter portion up here is actually for this flap right here, okay? So it's this part right here. So this one right here, we're gonna leave this and I'm gonna flip it around. So we know this is going to be the front flap. So what I'm gonna do is on the score line, going to cut up to that score line and then cut this first little box off, okay? Do the thing, same thing on the other side. Okay, so now it looks like this. Now, just kind of turn it to the side and cut on the score line, just up to this one inch score line. Okay, then I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna flip it around and I'm gonna do this one. Okay, I'm going to go over here to this very last one. So now it looks like this, okay? So, ooh, so sorry, y'all. So on this right here, take your little flap, where your little flaps are, these are like the little tabs, go up just a little bit and cut it at an angle up to that score line, okay? I'm going to do that on this one as well. And then I'm going to do it also on this one as well. And I'm going to do right here. It helps for things to kind of fold a little better. Now on these two little flaps, we're going to need to do that. But first, let's cut those in half. So I'm cutting up in half. And then I'm going to cut from the bottom to the score line on both little sides there. Okay. I'm going to do this one, cut it in half, because I tried doing it where I left it long and it was just in the way. Okay, so I'm going to cut just like this. Okay, so this is what it ends up looking like, okay? And um, so super, super simple. Now, 
Let me get my trash out of the way here. All oh, my desk is a mess. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cut my designer series paper and it is much easier for you to go ahead and pre-cut your designer series paper that way and get it on that way then you have it ready to go okay so you're gonna need some kind of seam binding ribbon or something like that and you're going to need so i'm going to use of course seam binding i've had people ask me about where i get my seam binding from let me see if i can tear this apart my scrap cabin shop on etsy love her stuff I always order my seam binding from her. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna need, and if you look at this one right here, the ribbon comes out from underneath our designer series paper, okay? So we're going to need our seam binding to be down, covering this part all the way up to the second one inch part right here. Let me get it, make sure I get it straight. So I'm gonna need to adhere my seam binding from here to here, not leave, not doing it on here. Okay, so I'm gonna take my, okay, take my tape runner, and I'm just going to make sure I got myself a good piece of tape going there, and I'm gonna pull out my seam binding. Try to make sure it's in the center the best that I can. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of judge how much I want. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut off my piece. Okay, that should be good. Okay, so this is where our seam binding will go. Now, before I go any further, I want to, I want to round my corners. I just think it looks really nice with these rounded corners. I'm going to put my little paper in here and I'm going to just round my corners. I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing again. Okay, so that looks really good. Okay, now I'm going to take my designer series paper and I've already got it all cut and let me tell you what the sizes you're going to need, okay? So you're gonna need two pieces that are four and a quarter by two. So let's go ahead and get that on. Four and a quarter by two. It's easier to put your paper on before you fold. Or we can get it all adhered down really well. Okay, so I'm gonna put my first piece down here in the center part. This is actually the back of my box. Okay, make sure you got it lined up in the center. Use your bone folder or whatever you choose. Looking to see what I did with my other roller. I just wanna make sure I get it down really good. Okay. And then you're going to need another piece it's going to go back here and I can go ahead and adhere that down let's do the two piece the two by four and four and a quarter first okay I did not have to cook dinner my husband's off today so he told me at lunch hey do you want me to run down to the grocery store because we have a new grocery store he said do you want me to run down to the grocery store I can get us like a taco bowl because they have little cafes in there I told him, no, 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 I can just wait. Let's just go eat it. Let's go eat uh, Arbiletto's, which is a little restaurant um, not far from us. And when I get off of work at three, about 3.40, he said, okay, sounds good. So that's what we did. Dinner is done. Love it. Okay, so these were two, four and a quarter by two, four and a quarter by two. Then you're going to need two pieces that will go right here, four and a quarter by three-fourths. Okay. I played with my measurements yesterday, and this is what I come up with, and I usually just put my little piece of paper up there and measure, and that's kind of what I did, and measure, and I worked on trying to keep my measurements, so to make it easier, I can mass produce these if I wanted to. 
So I'm going to add this piece on. So you got to make sure you get that seam binding on first. That way then you have a way for it this to close. If you want to use like one of those plastic snaps or if you want to use magnets or whatever. I don't have any magnets that would that are big enough so I can't use magnets. I didn't want to order any. And um, cuz I ordered from scrapbook.com, y'all, I'm excited. I ordered several paper collections, so Okay, so now this last piece that over here, this piece, is actually going to go on the front. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my corner rounder and I'm going to round this one as well. Okay, so I'm going to round to get that corner, get those corners looking good. And put some glue on there. And then this one is going to go over the front. So by putting your seam binding underneath, and now you've glued this on, it'll help to hold that seam binding down. So I'm just going to make sure I got this pressed down really well. Okay. Okay. So now this is what it looks like. Okay. You're still going to have two pieces. These are um, two inches by three fourths for the side, but we can put those on last. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fold on my score lines. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fold on this score line. And I'm going to fold on this one, which makes the front flap. And you can fold ahead of time if you like, whichever makes it, if it makes it easier for you. I'm going to go ahead and fold. Just make sure you get the, the folds straight so your box is kind of lined up nicely. Okay. fold okay so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these little pieces right here and I'm gonna add my glue on both of these pieces and these will these will stick up inside and the back flap is gonna go up inside and just make sure it's even with the bottom Okay, and it grabs fairly fast. And you can use any kind of adhesive you want. I just use coarse art glitter glue. Okay, so there we go. So now this piece, these are the front flaps are gonna go on the outside, okay? I'm gonna just kind of make sure. I'm gonna take, put my glue on the outside, line up that bottom, make sure I get this nice and straight. That looks pretty good. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to line these up. Press it down. And I'm just going to press down, make sure that grabs. So now we have our box, looks like this. I'm going to take my last two pieces, two inches by, by three fourths, add my glue on the side. That on. One last piece. Okay, there we go. And there we go. So now we have our little box. So cute, huh? 
It fits a pack of Kleenex perfectly. So I'm just going to stick these down in here. And make sure I get my little tabs. And by putting the seam binding on, now all I have to do is tie a little bow down here and tie it, tie it together. Great little gifts. Look at how sweet that is. It fit perfectly. Now just add a little embellishment on the front. So of course I'm using my Christmas paper. So it can be given like in a care package. These could be given like if someone is sick or something like that. Or it can just be like something in a stocking. So I'm just gonna add one of these over here. So let me grab my paper trimmer. And I think that I will do, let's see, I'm just going to line this up. When I placed an order on scrapbook.com, I almost ordered this collection. But that is so cute and duh, I already have it. Okay, how about have a holly jolly Christmas or we wish you a Merry Christmas? Hmm, I think um have a holly jolly christmas is so cute okay i'm just gonna go with that one so let me cut that one out okay and of course you're gonna need to layer up going to take a scrap that I have over here. I've got some red scrap over here. And let me see. off. I think we are expecting storms tomorrow again. That's what happens in the springtime in Texas. Okay, so there we go. Got myself a little greeting and I'm just going to adhere it up here to the top. If you want to add like some gift tag or whatever you want to add. These will be low value items. I will probably do $2 a piece for them, so I don't want to add too much. And I'll probably just add some little jimmies. Let me see if I have some jimmies laying around in my, my little mess here. Okay, I'm gonna grab my jimmies. And see what I have here. I have this one. I kind of like this color. So it's a little bit smaller. I'm just going to take it and I'm going to add a lot of glue on it. here. I just make it simple. Decorate it up as much as you like. But keep in mind these are little easy little simple things. Um, I think what probably would have been good for me to do is maybe some little holly leaves. I think that those would be darling. Um, but I think you get it. I think you can decorate yourself and you can see how easy and simple this was. So yeah, that's it y'all. I'll hold this up here again. If you can see my pencil markings. So you're going to have it 
six and a half by eight. On the six and a half side, you score it one inch and five and a half. Then you're gonna turn it and you would score it at two and a quarter, three and a quarter, five and a half, six and a half. And this is the part you cut out, these parts up here. Easy, right? Anyway, that's it, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this very, very simple little project. I hope you like it. Hope you'll give it a try. You don't have to do it for Christmas. You can do it anytime. Everybody always needs sweet little Kleenexes right now. It's allergy season. It'd be great to add in like a little gift. If you're giving a care package for someone, that'd be great too. But that's it. Easy, easy, easy. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And thank you for all your thumbs up. Thank you for subscribing. And I really do appreciate you and um, love you guys so much. Have a great night. Bye.